time, LP Master 6. Last time on Super Mario RPG. That feels weird to say. I feel like it's been a long time coming. I, I don't know. I just can't believe I'm at this point of let's playing this game. But anyway, we started the game. The plot's pretty self-explanatory, so I don't feel like recapping it. Let's get a move on. Let's continue exploring the Mushroom Kingdom. Hey, Mario, look what you're standing in. You already pulled that on us. I just talked to you from behind. How would you know what I'm standing in? Ha! Gotcha! Okay. And a very rarely talked to NPC. This guy. You walk behind the house and you automatically talk to him. That horrible crocodile. And wearing crocodile skin shoes, no less? Has he no shame? <laughs> Mario, hurry! The Chancellor awaits! Mario, hurry! The Chancellor awaits! Alright, let's go. Mushroom Castle. Mario, there you are. I'll tell the Chancellor you're here. Yeah, sorry. I had to sleep in the inn for a while. I'll wait for you down the hallway. Get ready. You might want to make a safe state. Or er, not really. If you fail this, you can always leave the room and come back. We are about to try for the only missable item in the game. Fuck. Fuck. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! You have two opportunities in the entire game. Or just one. I'm pretty sure it's two, though. To jump on Toad's head while he's walking toward that door. And jump up there and get that strange... <laughs> strangely placed surprise box. But I love it so much. And that gave us a green coin, which made a unique sound. That was a frog coin. We don't have any way to spin those at the moment, but we will later. All right, let's go off exploring, obviously. This castle is pretty tiny for being the, you know, castle for the entire giant kingdom, which we've adventured in several times. Toadstool's room. The princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the chancellor must feel? And we can jump on her bed. We can explore her things, but she really... This isn't that lavish for being, you know, Princess Peach Toadstool's room. However, found Toadstool's... Huh? Hey there! What do you think you're doing? I'll give you this in exchange. Just leave everything where it was. Got a mushroom. <laughs> in Japan, that's called Toadstool's XXX. To give it a more dirty connotation, you can see why it was changed for uh, American censorship standards of the time for Nintendo. You know, I mean, I could tell you what we all think it is, but I think you know. And if you don't, I don't want to be the one to tell you. That fault guard better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. That's it? They only have one guest room? This lavish castle? This place is small. Way smaller than I expected. We can't go? I'm guarding the treasure room. Sorry, but you'll have to get the Chancellor's permission to pass. I'm Mario. Are you kidding me? You wouldn't have anything if it weren't for me. You'd be dead. Enslaved by Bowser. Turned into a block. Jeez. You can jump on Toad there, I think. Maybe if you're extremely fast, but there's nothing up there. Don't worry. Sir, Mario has arrived. Can we just leave? We can. Does it replay that? No. Ah, automatic walking. Mario, thank goodness you're here. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud I almost dropped my spores. Uh, excuse me? Where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. I am shocked at this plot hole. Why did they let Peach go unaccompanied? Or why didn't Mario pick her up? She's always being kidnapped. I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind all of this? <laughs> Mario has shape-shifting abilities that even scare the toads. Spore's alive! You're telling us that Bowser has abducted the princess again? How many times has Bowser abducted Peach? Future me, put that number on screen. So far, I mean, in the series, canonically up to this point. So uh, that would mean Mario 1 and the Lost Levels count as one game. Remakes don't count. Uh, I'm thinking it's only like five tops, honestly. Not counting this one. Never mind. 
It will be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toadstool. She sounds like a siren there. Damn, Mario's a good actor. <laughs> Egad! The keep is unassailable. What awful powers at work here? Mario, our life is in your hands. Please save our dear princess. Mario! <laughs> as soon as you try to walk. I almost forgot. Oh, I almost forgot. This may not help you, but why don't you take it along? Got a map. Mario! <laughs> Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. <laughs> why does it kick us out? What if I want to go back in? We know you won't let us down. So long, Mario, and good luck. We have the toad, of course. Where could the princess be? We're all counting on you to find her, Mario. They all say the same things as those two toads. All we can do is wait here. Don't let us down. Most importantly, though, we have a new menu option. Map. This is the world map. Look how vast. Love that ocean effect. Look, it's kind of weird. See, it makes the whole world look like floating islands. I kind of don't like that. That scary thought. But enough about that. Let's go to the cellar now that we can access the treasure room. Mario! The Chancellor has filled me in. Come, let me show you around. These are also missable items, but they really... It, it's okay if you miss them. Help yourself to the treasures! This mushroom will restore your hit points and flower points. Unfortunately, mushrooms you find as items will only restore your HP, so beware. This is a flower. The more you gather, the more flower points you'll have in battle. Find them. This is a coin. The small ones are worth one and the large ones are worth ten. This one's a ten. Do you know about flower points? I don't know if I've ever seen this text, actually. No, tell me. <clears throat> Very well. FPs are consumed during battle when you use special attacks. For example, a jump attack uses three FPs. I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> when you jump, your FP will decrease by three each time. Run out and you can't use these attacks. An item called a flower raises your maximum FPs. Recover FPs with syrups, some mushrooms, and it ends. Um, okay, that was weird. I was stuck on the stairs. Isometric games are really fun to mess around with physically. Mario, hurry! The Chancellor awaits! Okay. Come back here! <laughs> he just tossed her off the side. I never noticed that before. Come back here! Go for the leap. Ooh. Oh no! That reptile stole my grandpa's coin! He says it like a racial slur with that sting that my grandma says whenever, what well, used to say she's dead, whenever she would talk about colored people. <laughs> I can't cry. Big boys don't cry, but it's just not fair. Wow, that's toxic masculinity, buddy. I'm sorry for the way you were raised. Rain or shine, I shall fulfill my duty. Rain or shine, I shall fulfill my duty. That horrible crocodile. Oh, okay. I think everybody has pretty much the same text. But. Don't know what that reptile's up to, but. Man, can he jump! What is wrong with you? She is obsessed with people's jump ability. Dude, I don't really know if I find that an attractive quality, jump ability, but. Rain or shine, I stand watch. But this is getting ridiculous. It looked like something was behind there. Okay, enough lollygagging. Oh, there was somebody. I see him. Y yes? Gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? I'm alright now. Sorry. There's nothing like a good cry. But why 
was I crying? There was some reason. Classic comedy moment. My grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here. When I stopped into town, that croc walked me. Nope, that's not the line. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're going to take care of Bowser. <laughs> wow, he doesn't stand a chance. Oh my god. This woman is my least favorite character in probably any Mario game. She just, all she wants you to do is jump. Wow, you're THE Mario? I know all about you. You've got more jump in you than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tadpole Pond. I'm a frog, but can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? I'm a little busy. You're sure you won't reconsider? Alright, I'll help you. I don't know if he has any other text, but obviously you have to say yes. The young frog, Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario in his quest. Alright, we already have another party member. I guess we can look at his stats. He has no equipment and he brings no items to the table, so don't worry about that. However... We can go buy equipment. Hey, Mallow! What kept you? I was starting to worry. Wait until you hear this. You see... Wait, I've already heard. Old Frog Fuchsius told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on. Listen. The truth of the matter is, well, um... The coin was stolen. What? Well, if that's the case, I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mario here will help us out. Zet so? Well, if Mario's on your team, you'll have that coin back in a jiffy. Thanks, but not so fast. Take this with you. You'll probably need it. I didn't actually move. <laughs> Normally, if you try to walk away, this happens. Gotta pick me up. That's right, a free one-up. Now we have two. You know, I hate to admit it, but I love this job. Why do you hate to admit it? Don't you own the store? <laughs> I mean, he doesn't seem to be just a minimum wage shopkeeper. I guess I would hate to admit it then. Because then, you know, you'd be less likely to get a raise if you talk about how happy you were at the job. Uh, but anyway, let's buy pants. Equip Mallow's pants. Let's see. We never equipped a shirt. What is wrong with me? There we go. And there we go. Nice increases all around. Still not going to bother with the accessories at the moment. We'll do that later. Mario, I have something to report, sir. I saw him. He's here somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? Why, yes, exactly. He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh, give me a break here. That is a fan favorite line for good reason. Come back here. Hur hur, you mugs will never catch me. A snail could outrun you morons. Later. I'm sorry, I don't know why he sounds like that. That's him! Hurry, Mario! Let's get him! And he snaps us out of it with an authoritative stomp. I'll remain here on the lookout. Thanks, buddy. Very useful. Now we have unlocked Bandit's Way. There he is! He probably stashed it in that bag. Let's nab him. Are you trying to tail me? Go on home to mommy before you get hurt, kid. That's I'm trying to do a 30s slick voice, but it's just not happening. All right, well, we're not going to cut, cut this fight out, but I want to tell you before the music goes away, this sounds just like the Russian dance by Tchaikovsky featured in The Nutcracker. I would know. And I, I only noticed that. I knew it sounded familiar, but I read it on Mario Wiki, but I did watch The Nutcracker live uh, in December. And it's only February right now, so I feel like I get some credibility there. Alright, we get to see the hammer. Boom! Killing everything in one hit. And that's another flower you can get. Attack up. That lasts for the rest of the battle. This is what Mallow does. He can also already kill <laughs> Goombas in one hit. 
Big surprise there, right? But man, we're already doing 90 damage. Ah, uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Oh, well, we saw pretty much everything Mallow can do, so I guess I'll keep cutting the fights out. Just kidding! We have an ability to show. God, that hammer sound effect is so beautiful. Every party member, uh, with one exception, has three different types of weapon that all have different action commands. And unarmed is in that boat as well. So different times that you time it. They're all pretty easy, so you don't really have to worry. But Mallow's special ability is Thunderbolt. It attacks everyone on the field. Well, the enemies, obviously, not you guys. The timing is a little tricky. At the end of that green light, I believe, is when you want to hit it. And it takes out pretty much everything we've encountered so far in one hit. All right, we can go back to cutting out fights now. Oh, we can't. There is a new enemy. Uh, sure, we'll go ahead and take these guys out. I don't think Mallow can actually take Spikies out in one hit, but we'll find out. Oh, he can! Okay. He is way better than I expected. This guy is a frog og. Not a Mario enemy whatsoever. Looks nothing like one. Normally, enemies that are too large to be on the field will just show up accompanying other enemies in battle. And they usually seem to be Final Fantasy-esque creatures instead of uh, Mario-esque creatures. Alright, how are we looking? How much damage did he... Okay, well, he's fine. He's got 11 HP. If he dies, it's no big deal. And I'm going to go ahead and check the recording time, because we might cut it here. We got a little bit done, right? Uh, 17 minutes isn't enough for YouTube these days. So we will keep wandering around. No more... Oh, there is another enemy. Okay, well, I'm going to start using... Thunderbolt whenever there's a frog og around. I didn't go over the flower jar. What is wrong with me? The flower jar raises your flower points permanently by three. It's like a flower tab, but more useful. And like the flower tab, you can save it for when you need your flower points to be raised. But I'm not too worried about that right now. It's early game. I think we're good. All right, moving on. You couldn't jump to save your life, kid! So I guess this is goodbye. Ooh, look at this nice platforming section coming up. We can't make it! But guess what we can do? Huh. Get the timing wrong. Come on, I'm a platforming genius. I can beat the lost levels with my eyes closed. So, this is ridiculous. Uh, 3D environments mess with me a little bit, I guess. Spawning coins, yay, we did it! We got three coins. Very exciting. And we can go down there to continue, but we have new enemies to go over. All right, K9. Can we kill them in one hit? Of course we already can. Fangs. That did quite a bit. Can Mallow kill them in one hit? Absolutely not, okay. Well, we'll go ahead and take this guy out and see what else. Oh, he can howl. Oh, he has given us our first status. Uh, I, I've never actually seen that attack. Uh, the fear status cuts your attack and defense in half. It's actually a pretty nasty one. But as long as you're shaking, it won't go away until you heal it or the battle is over. So it kind of sucks. All right, fire orb. That's useful. All right, that's a three gain total. That's three, and this will be two. So we get to choose. All right, I'm obviously going to go with attack and defense over HP. Come on. That was a tie there, so that's why I chose whichever one. Uh, I think they're endlessly spawning. Whatever, we can fight this guy too. Why not? Show off fire orb. Even though I really shouldn't. It only attacks one enemy. Yeah, let's just hold off on that. Although we can still show off Thunderbolt. Here we go. Let's do it. Are you ready? I'm ready. See if I can actually get that timing right, because I usually don't. 
Oh, he survived. This game is moving along smoothly already. I could talk about some of its development secrets, I guess. Yeah, let's get out of here. First, surprise box with a new item in it. Kiro Kiro Cola. All members recover fully. That is a full HP heal for the entire party. Beautiful. Very rare item. Very valuable item. Oh, you're a persistent bugger, but I'm a hundred miles ahead of you. I meant to talk about this sooner. Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars went unreleased in PAL regions, aka Europe and Australia, and I don't know, the rest of Oceania? Oceania? O Oceana. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I apologize. So I don't know about New Zealand or wherever else, but... When the game did come out in Europe, it was on the Wii Virtual Console. And later, the Wii U and SNES Classic. It didn't come out originally, although it was planned to in July of 1996, because PAL games were a pain to get working on those regions' TVs, which were completely different from TVs in America and Japan, which were pretty much the same. Also, because this game is so text-heavy, it would have required translation into so many languages that they decided it wasn't worth it, especially because that was at the end of the SNES's life cycle. I say all of this to say, there were no localization changes when it was brought to Europe on the Virtual Console. Like, in Japan, uh, the battle buttons, like when you're in the battle menu, aren't lavender and purple like they are in the American SNES controller. They're the corresponding buttons that they are on the controller in Japan. Europe has the same controller layout as Japan color-wise, but they didn't change the colors in the game for Europe because they didn't localize it. Except for the fact that bugger is a vulgar slang word in the UK, so they changed this to pest. You're a persistent pest. You're welcome for that neat fact. <laughs> And I guess that leads us to talk about the development of the game a little more. Uh, it began... Hey, a level up! In a meeting in early 1994 between Square and Nintendo, Miyamoto wanted to turn Mario into an RPG because RPGs were wildly popular and he thought Mario could bring some action elements into it. Which I find strange because he doesn't like RPGs, famously so. Alright, uh, attack, that's... Four, four, and two. All right, we're gonna go with Pal for Mallow also. <laughs> I'm an attacking guy. I'm not a, I don't wanna be an HP sponge. There's no fun in that. Oh boy, we're just chasing this guy around. <clears throat> so who else would do this game but Square, of course. The king of RPGs at the time. And uh, development really began, like the actual coding and such, in early 1995. They assumed the game was going to be completed. That's a new attack. Oh, I was drinking water, but leave that in. Goombas also have that same attack, which is really weird because they don't have thorns. Anyway, to finish my sentence, by December 1995, though it had to be delayed, there's evidence of this on the Japanese title screen because it has a 1995 copyright date. This was fixed in America because the game came out everywhere in 1996, obviously, except Europe and Australia. Oh, this guy's pissing me off. Oh, wait, we've only seen a couple of fights with this guy. I actually might have missed this in my last couple of playthroughs of the game. I don't know why. I just didn't go over here. Uh, yeah, let's just take out the K9 because that's the easiest solution here. Oh, that's right. Okay, we can kill him in one hit now. And, oh, that's right. We got a new ability too. HP Rain. That does exactly what you think it does, so we'll show that off when you need it. When, not when you need it, when I need it. Because you're not going to need it. Unless you're playing along, then you will need it. But show it off to yourself when you do need it. Man, <laughs> this commentary has just taken a slow downslide. Uh, 
Well, I talked about the development when it started. But there's really not that much to speak of in development. Nintendo and Square are famously secretive companies. And there's some leftover ideas that I'll get to talking about and when the time comes. Give it up already! Their treasure box is tempting, but now's not the time! Uh, am I gonna fight you guys? Uh, no. Let me show you why. <gasps> I'm not gonna be made a liar. No, please! Please! Oh, they're ganging up. Can I, can I get this to work? Please, thank you! That's right, it's a superstar. Starman, whatever you want to call it. Kill as many as possible and listen to the song. That is so satisfying. They go insane. It's not as satisfying when you don't get a level up afterward, though. Because it'll pop up on the screen, level up, after you kill one when you gotten the experience because you do get the experience from those battles that's why that's so useful i have a feeling we're gonna end up being over leveled way too early on i'm gonna try to avoid that also you don't have to worry about surprise boxes there's no more in bandits way there's not that many in the game compared to like hidden items and pokemon dead end and they won't give up i'll just have to hide like time to hide by wings that's an okay song not a great example of a wing song He's gone into hiding. Let's see if we can sneak up behind him and catch him. Oh, buddy. What? Didn't we just get a mushroom not long ago? Whatever. I'm just going to be taking out the enemies for a few minutes here. Ignoring him entirely. Hey! Level 4 already! Alright. 2. 4. And 2. We're finally going with HP. We've... We've increased them all for Mario. Beautiful. <laughs> what happened to that Goomba? Oh, Mallow's level four. He is already just right behind us. That's wonderful. Two. Six. Oh my God. And two. We're obviously going to go with this one. <laughs> Great. What was that? Ha! Your eyes, I didn't even mean to catch you! Your eyes are much faster than your feet! At this rate, it'll take you a hundred more years to catch me! Whew. My eyes are much faster than my tongue. That sounded weird. Okay, I believe we have one... Oh, okay. Alright, did we finally... No? Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, you're an endlessly spawning fellow. I'm running away. Couldn't run. No, I'm running. This is what running looks like. Look, I don't want to get over leveled. That's why I'm only fighting enemies that are scripted to be there. So, what's this? You fools couldn't chase down a pumpkin. That's what happens if he catches you from the front because he will turn around. What was that? What is he doing? Damn it. Come on. What's this? You fools couldn't chase down a pumpkin! Ha! Your eyes are much faster than your feet! At this rate, it'll take you uh, 50 more years to catch me. <laughs> he keeps running into us! Well, that was the easiest time ever. You again? This is getting old. I'll s it'll still take you... Enough! You got me fair and square. I'll give you back your coin. Whoa, did you really believe me? I was lying! <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> That's not the right accent to do for Croco. He is weak to fire orbs, so let's finally show it off. This fight is pretty easy, if you know that. It has the easiest action command, in my opinion. Simple button mashing, 72 damage to a boss. Youch! Uh, Thunderbolt actually does not do very much. You want to save your FP for HP Rain if you need it. Or you can use Mallow's turn for a Honey Syrup. It'll just do a tiny amount of damage. Kroko's dousing a Tail Fire. Another reason you want to use Fire Orb. It makes him waste a turn. Not every time, but at least the first time. And we just keep setting him on fire. Beautiful. We could have Mallow defend, but 
personally, I don't think it's that worth it. I think Croco tends to attack Mario more anyway. I say that, and then he does 13 damage to Mallow. Oops. Oh, no. This is not good. Let's see how much our regular attack does. 30. That's not bad at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got plenty of honey syrup. One weird thing that took me a good while to get used to about the game is, uh... You have to confirm your actions. Why is he doing this to Mallow? Normally, he only ever attacks Mario. But, like, if you're doing a special attack, you confirm and, and everything with the Y button. A, obviously, is A, but if you're running away, you press B. If you're defending, you press B in this menu. To use an item, you hit X. You get the point, right? No, oh, it's, it, it's weird. It took me a while to get used to, but it is a pretty neat system once you get used to it. You feel like all the buttons have a purpose, when lots of times they don't. According to the manual of this game, uh, select, L and R are pretty useless. Although you can also use select uh, to change between stereo and mono for whatever reason, <laughs> if L and R are just not cutting it for you. Alright, we got plenty of mushrooms. Get a freebie! That's a mechanic we haven't seen yet. That can randomly show up after... Oh, hello. <laughs> he heals 60 damage to himself. I think he does that once during the fight. I'm pretty sure that's scripted in. But uh, the freebie means that it didn't use up our mushroom. We used it and got it back, essentially. Uh, no, what am I doing? Come on, you don't want to conserve FP in a boss fight. Uh, I guess unless it's a boss rush or something? But we're good. That that didn't kill him? I'm shocked. <laughs> Man, it'd be funny if the 8 damage killed him. Uh, we could try jump. Why not? Woo! Yeah, that wasn't very useful. Oh, come on. He's only got a few turns left. Yeah, Mallow killed him! Give me back my coin or I'll belt you again! Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> Yowch! I'm gonna pay you back in spades, kid. Go on. Take back your grubby old coin. Adios, amigos. All right. We got it back. Beautiful. And we get a flower tab for our troubles. Yeah, we did it. We got Grandpa's coin back. I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this. That Croco guy left a wallet. Found the wallet. I'm going back to the shop at Mushroom Kingdom. Are you coming? How convenient! I believe that's supposed to say warp, but you can't really see it on the... Uh... 16-bit graphics? Man, I'm really stumbling over my words lately. Every time I try to record, but let's go ahead and use that flower tab so I don't forget. Beautiful, 20 already. Oh, a fat wallet. <laughs> I don't know why that doesn't go into key items, but okay. Let's go and use it. These springboards normally take you outside the uh, to the world map, but this one just takes you back to the beginning. That's fine. We gained two levels just from this handy dandy old side path because it doesn't go anywhere. It's just a dead end. <laughs> 